Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Ellerbeck, and today we will be talking about the differences between AWS Global Accelerator and Amazon CloudFront. Both AWS Global Accelerator and Amazon CloudFront are part of the networking and content delivery category, and both are able to improve the performance of your applications. Let's take a look at what makes them different. Amazon CloudFront is the more established of the two technologies. It was launched in 2008. Amazon CloudFront is a global content delivery network, or CDN, that enables you to distribute content to viewers with low latency and high availability. It uses a global network of edge locations and regional edge caches that cache copies of your content close to your viewers. It ensures that end-user requests are served by the closest edge location. As a result, viewer requests travel a short distance, improving performance for your viewers. It supports content that can be sent using the HTTP or WebSocket protocols. Supports IPv6. Uses a DNS name with changing IP addresses. In other words, relies on the IP address caching settings of client devices. Let's take a look at Amazon CloudFront. If we go to CloudFront and then Distributions, we can see this distribution that I previously configured. It is distributing this S3 bucket and this index.html file inside of it. If we go to the CloudFront domain, we can see the static website that is being distributed. AWS Global Accelerator, on the other hand, was launched fairly recently in 2018. AWS Global Accelerator utilizes the Amazon Global Network, allowing you to improve the performance of your applications. It lowers the round-trip time for a packet to go from a client to endpoint and back again, increases the throughput, the amount of time it takes to transfer data, as compared to the public internet. Global Accelerator improves performance for a wide range of applications over TCP or UDP by proxying packets at the edge to applications running in one or more AWS regions. Global Accelerator is a good fit for non-HTTP use cases such as gaming, IoT, or voice over IP. The service currently supports IPv4 addresses. With AWS Global Accelerator, you don't have to rely on the IP address caching settings of client devices. Change propagation takes a matter of seconds, which reduces your application downtime. Second, with Global Accelerator, you get static IP addresses that provide a fixed entry point to your applications. This lets you easily move your endpoints between availability zones or between AWS regions without having to update the DNS configuration or client-facing applications. Let's take a look at AWS Global Accelerator. Let's say we had an EC2 instance running a web server at this address. Let's put an AWS Global Accelerator in front of it. Go to the console, type global. I have one created, but let's create a new one. Accelerator 2. We're going to listen on port 80. Next. We want it to be in this region. Done. Create our accelerator. Next, we need to create an endpoint. Add an endpoint. In this case, it's an EC2 instance. Hit save. That'll take a little while to configure, so while we're waiting, let's look at this one I made. Previously, if we go to this address, there we go. That's our same web server, served through the accelerator. To quickly summarize, remember that AWS Global Accelerator lowers the round trip time, proxies packets, and is a good fit for non-HTTP. It currently supports only IPv4 addresses, 
and has fast propagation that doesn't rely on client IP caching settings. Amazon CloudFront is a global content delivery network. It caches copies of your content close to your viewers, can do HTTP or WebSocket protocols, does support IPv6, and uses a DNS name with the changing IP addresses. Thank you, and hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation on the differences between AWS Global Accelerator versus Amazon CloudFront.